Here in the U.S., police in Sacramento, California, are investigating two possible hate crimes against Muslims. DeMarco Morgan has details. In Sacramento, California, Saturday, this image circulated around the community. A Quran filled with bacon burned and handcuffed to a fence at the largest mosque in the state's capital. All over the street. On Friday night, pages ripped from a Quran were thrown outside the Islamic Center of Davis, California, and picked up by worshipers during Ramadan prayers. It's the third time the mosque has been targeted since the presidential election. A woman was seen vandalizing the center in January. In November, the mosque was one of several that received a letter calling Muslims vile and filthy, praising then-President-elect Trump, saying he's going to do to you Muslims what Hitler did to the Jews. What's the reason for these attacks? We don't think it's a coincidence that the surge in anti-Muslim hate crimes happened at the very moment that Donald Trump's rhetoric came to the forefront. We have a man at the highest levels of government who is normalizing anti-Muslim bigotry, and we think that has emboldened a generation of individuals to go after their Muslim neighbors. And Albert Kahn is point. with New York's chapter of the Council on American Islamic Relations, also known as CARE. Talk about the level of disrespect, ripping pages out of the Holy Quran, putting bacon inside. This is as clear as using a swastika or using a burning cross. This is meant as a symbol of hate. It is meant as a symbol of intimidation. And when it is done to a mosque in the height of Ramadan during prayers, it, the message is clear. These people wanted to instill fear. They wanted to harass. And that message has no place in this country. In response to the increase in attacks, CARE has created a civil rights app where minority groups can report assaults as they happen. Rena asked for the Sacramento and Davis incidents. They are both being investigated as hate crimes. DeMarco, thank you.